Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about my views on having kids. Do we want kids? Do we not want kids? I'm gonna break down everything in this video for you guys, especially since I feel like this is a question that I get asked all the time, whether on social media or in real life, it's like constant. So I figured I'd make a video on it. And so yeah, if you guys wanna hear about my thoughts on having kids, then keep watching. I tried filming this video the other day and <laughs> I like cried through the entire thing, so so I was like, oh, gotta refilm it then. I feel like this is such a tough subject because there are so many different things to think about when it comes to kids that it just like, it's overwhelming to like break it down, I guess. For starters, I guess I'll start with the fact that my boyfriend does want a kid. He's okay with just having one and he's also okay with not having any if that's what I decide. And it's just, oh, it's such a tough thing. I remember growing up, I always wanted to be the young mom. And I think a lot of girls are that way. I think it's just something that you think is cool. You know, you're like, I wanna be like the young cool mom and like go to parent teacher meetings and like, I don't know, like be the, the young mom that like has her shit together or something, you know? When I was younger, I saw like having a kid at like, 21 I thought that that was like a good age and then I got to 21 and I'm like what the hell like I don't want a kid for another like five years and then like another five years goes by and you're like oh my god I can't even imagine having a kid now and it's like I feel like it just like keeps like extending and honestly I'm just not sure if I want a kid like I don't I don't know I just I don't feel like super maternal like when anyone is showing pictures of like their baby, I'm like, Ooh, I'm like slowly like backing out, you know? <laughs> I I just, I don't know, I'm not a baby person. If you show me a picture of like a puppy, I might be excited, you know? I think the thing that gets to me the most is that there's a time frame. And I know that you can have kids until you're, you're older now. It's different than it used to be, but there's still a lot of risks that go along with having a having a kid at an older age and also are you going to be prepared to play with it and there are a lot of people who have kids at an older age and they love it you know it just it really depends on the person and there are a lot of people who had kids when they were younger and it worked out and they loved it it just really depends on the person and just for me personally i just i don't know how to feel about it I'm definitely like nowhere close to having kids now. Like, and I'm 28, which concerns me because I'm like, if I don't want kids anytime soon, like then I'm having kids, like, I don't know, I guess like early thirties. If I decide to have a kid is when I would start like trying, I guess. I kind of grew up with the thought that you're going to have kids no matter what kind of thing. And I guess it's just because my mom's side of the family is like, they're obsessed with babies. Like, it's just like, it's a huge thing. So I think it was just like ingrained that you had to have kids. So you didn't really think about it. And then as I started getting older, I started realizing everything that goes into having a kid. And if it's even something that I really want. And it's just, there are so many different thoughts that I have about it. First of all, I just can't picture myself having a kid. I just can't picture myself being a mom. I can't picture myself taking care of a kid or raising a child or, it's just, it's so overwhelming to me. And I just don't feel, I don't feel a connection with that thought. And I wonder if that means that I'm not supposed to have kids. I don't know. I, I feel like I've talked to so many different women about this and everyone kind of has a different answer, which is never helpful. <laughs> but there are a lot of women who say that you're never ready and then you wind up getting pregnant and it winds up becoming the best thing that ever happened to you. And then there are others who really wanted a kid and they had a kid and they, they loved it, it was great. I feel like no one really says that they like regretted having a kid, you know what I mean? Like maybe it just comes with like the moral standards of not looking like an asshole saying that, but I don't know, I just, I haven't heard anyone say that they've regretted the decision. I've heard people say that they've regretted having a kid at the time that they had a kid, but not the actual like act of having it, I guess. Does that make any sense? 
I remember when I was first starting to see my boyfriend, I still was under that impression that like kids was just like something that happened that you just wound up doing. And I didn't really give it much thought. So when we had talked when we first met, my answer was yes to that I wanted kids. And I remember probably like a year in, I was 23 maybe, and I really started to think deeply about whether I wanted kids. And I remember I had a really serious conversation with him like right away because that's something that freaks me out. Having somebody else's life almost chained to your decisions as well. Basically, I was like, look, I don't know if I want kids now. This is something that I've been thinking of. I really wanted to sit down with you and have an actual talk about it because, you know, I would never want you to stay with me. And then years down the line, I decide that I don't want to have kid, a kid. And then you're, we've been in a relationship for years, you know, and then you feel like you wasted all of this time. And then I wasted your time too. And I would never ask anyone to give that up or to be with me. I don't know how I like to word this, but I just, I just wanted to give him all of his options as soon as I figured out that I was starting to doubt having kids. I wanted to make him aware that that's kind of where I'm at. And I, you know, if you have your heart set on kids, I don't know if I'm the right person for you. And it's like making me emotional to think about it now. But it was something that I felt was really important to talk about because it is. I would never want that to be a regret or to have someone resent me for that. So it's basically like, you know, this is the way that I feel. And if you're, you know, not okay with that, I'd want you to leave now so that neither of us are hurt, you know? And he had said that he does want a kid, but he is okay with not having one as well, which just makes me want to cry because I feel like I feel like it's still a compromise and this is another point that I think about all the time is that I love him so much that it is literally sickening like he is just oh he is just the best person in the entire world I could just cry just thinking of him and then thinking of a little kid that if if we had a little boy who looked just like him I would oh if anything happened to him. I just feel like I would like, ugh, be one of those parents who like wouldn't let their kid do anything because I would just love it way too much. And that's another thing that I think about. It's just, I would be so scared that I would like smother it with love and just like not let him do, let, let it do anything. I keep saying him, I don't know why, but I just wouldn't let it do anything. You know, I would, I would be so like, I would be so concerned. And with what comes with having kids is, you know, you have to let them do their own thing and make their own decisions and, you know, live their own life and make their own mistakes. And I just don't know if, if I'm like capable of that. I already have so many control issues. I just don't know how I would handle it. And I also, I just feel like I have so much like working on myself that I need to do first before I can even bring like a child into this world. I would want to make sure that I'm the best person possible in order to raise a child. Because I know how fucked up I am and I'm like, I just don't want to make any mistakes. I don't want to, I just, I just can't even imagine. I, I feel like your childhood has a lot to do with how you feel about having kids. And I don't know. I mean, I really credit my brother to us having a a good childhood. I feel like having the two of us together, like I just, all of my best memories are of us together. But other than that, you know, I'm, I'm not close with my parents. And I think that, I don't know, does that have something to do with like whether you want kids or not? I feel like if you have a close relationship with your parents, I feel like if you have a close relationship with your parents, I don't know, maybe it like makes you want to have kids more. I'm just, it just makes me scared that I'm then gonna like mess up a relationship with my kids, you know? Like I've always said that I wanted to be the kind of parent that was firm yet fair. And it, like I want to be someone that they can come to and talk to, not necessarily like their best friend or anything like that because I still want them to like see me as their parent and respect me. But I also want them to look up to me but then also be able to like 
tell me anything, even though they know it's gonna hurt my feelings and they'll know that I won't get offended and everything is, you know, going to be okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to be a good mom. And I think I just like put so much weight on it and maybe it doesn't require like that much thought. Like maybe these things will just come to you when they come to you or like it, you'll just grow as your child grows. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But also there's just so much that I want to do in my life that just doesn't require having a kid right now. And I definitely just don't have the time to focus on, on having a child. I really want to have a career first. I want to build that up and then focus on having a kid. Like I want everything solid. Like I want to have like a lot of money in the bank. I want to be completely, completely good to go before even bringing a kid in this world. They're just, kids are so expensive. They require a lot of time, a lot of attention. I just want to make sure that I do it right. And I don't want to be stressed out the entire time. I feel like I feel like people have kids so early before they're even financially stable and then you're just stressed the whole time. Like it's just money they say is the most stressful thing among relationships. And when you throw a baby in there, babies are very expensive. And I feel like it almost like sets you up for failure, you know? And also I just have such a great time with my boyfriend. Like I I don't know, I just it makes me sound like such like a like a bad person, but I'm like <laughs> Thinking of a baby as kind of being like a damper on that. I hate feeling this way too. It's like such a double-edged sword because I feel so strongly on a lot of things about not having a baby. And then I get such a strong amount of guilt because there are so many women out there who want to have kids but can't. And then I'm over here being an asshole like, oh, I don't know if I want them, you know, when I have the luxury of being able to have one. I mean, I'm assuming, I don't know if I actually do but I'm, I think I do. And don't get me wrong, there are a lot of people who should not have had kids. There are just like a lot of terrible people out there who have had kids and then just treat them like shit. And you know, it's just, oh, I hear those stories all the time and it's just, it's, ugh. So maybe not everyone's supposed to have kids, but it's like, it just is a thought as a woman. It's such a difficult thought to have. And like I said, like the whole, the whole like, like time restraint thing, comes into play constantly and it just feels like there is a like constant like ticking time clock on like whether you're going to make up your mind or not and I hate that like I said I already have a control issue like that just makes me want to be like don't tell me what to do okay also if I can be like completely selfish right now I don't want to mess up my body either I feel like I'm gonna be judged for saying that but it, it's a legit concern and a lot of people talk about it. I feel like I'm just gonna be like the first person who's gonna admit that like on camera. And not only just the fact of like, just things like stretching out and not being the same, like it's just like, I just can't imagine even giving birth to a human. Like it, this thing is coming out of me, you know? Or it's just such a scary thought of your body holding another body in it. Ooh. And like one of my biggest fears is bleeding to death. And I just feel like that would happen. Like, <laughs> oh, and then like thinking of like, like a kid, like, oh, like sucking all your milk out. Like, oh, I just like, it literally just makes me want to pass out. Like I just, it makes me so nauseous. And there are just so many like medical things involved in having a kid that it's just like, sounds like such a nightmare to me. And like, you guys know my fear of blood and everything like that. But it's like, when you have a kid, it's like you like need to like get blood tests done constantly and things like that to make sure that the kid's okay. And guys, I have so many panic attacks. Like, I, I guess I can't say on like a regular basis, but like at least once a week, I would say. <laughs> and I just can't even imagine how many panic attacks I would have when there's actually things that could go wrong. Like I already think of all the worst things. Like I already think I'm dying at least once a week. Like it's, it's, it's a thing. But I feel like I would be like that pregnant person, like constantly at the doctor, like something's wrong. Like it just like, like hit me. And then you feel all the pressures on like all of your like organs and everything shifting. And just, I don't know. And it, I like, I'm tiny. Like it freaks me out having like something some, like, can I have a baby? Like, that's completely ridiculous because there are people who are like thinner than I am who, who have kids. Like, you're not special. But it's just like, it's something that's like, it, it's like daunting to think about. I, I don't know. 
But am I the only one who thinks of these things? Because I feel like most people are very excited when the topic of kids comes up. And they're like, oh, I don't know, we're thinking about it. And I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm stressed out. Like, but I'm also very neurotic. <laughs> but there are a lot of cool things that I can think of for having kids. And I think it would be so cool to raise a child to be very open-minded and very just a good person. I feel like there aren't enough good people in the world. And it would be so cool to have a child mixed with my boyfriend. Like my boyfriend and I both combine. Like I that's something that's always been such a cool thought to me. And I would love to have a child that's a combination of us. It's almost like the ultimate like sign of love, you know, both of you together. It's just uh, I think that is so cool. It's like I said cool like a hundred times, but I just can't, it's like fascinating. And like I said, my boyfriend would be such a great dad. Oh my God. He's just such, such an amazing person in general. I just like, like I have no doubts at all. Could I like cry anymore in this video? And the great thing is my boyfriend and I have like all of the same views and opinions and everything about like anything really. So I know that we would co-parent very well and we're both on the same page with not wanting kids like anytime soon. Like, like obviously for him, like if it happened now, like everything would be great, like it would be fine. But we both want to have our careers set. We both want to already be living comfortably enough to have a kid before we even decide to do that. And I'm so glad that I have a relationship where we really are, we are so in sync with everything. Everything is so stress-free when it comes to us just together about all of our opinions on everything. And that's just so, it just takes so much stress out of life that I know that we can just take on anything together. Ugh, I'm having like the worst eyebrow day. These are just like not going right. And while trying to shape them out, I like, made them a lot darker than I normally do. I'm just kind of like, whatever. All right, guys, let me just fix my hair real quick and put some lipstick on and I'll be back. <laughs> I feel like this look is looking so aggressive with my eyebrows this dark, but like, at the same time, I kind of like it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about your thoughts on having kids. Like I said, I've talked to a ton of women about this and it either, it's like either they're all for it or they're like, they're like full of concerns like I am. So let me know what you think. Let's talk about it in the comments. So I feel like I'm not alone and I'll see you guys on the next one.